the present generation is trying to understand in indian subject from a western voice and a western mode of thought actually it is a ridiculous approach but it has become inevitable in such a situation a yoga teacher must correct the followers what we have to do how we have to understand for example i will give an idea there is a word what is called as chitta this is used by patanjali generally chitta is understood in english as mind mind is totally different chitta is totally different chitta speaks about the cosmic deposits in the human body but mind is the functioning of the nervous system so as a result there is a difference between brain mind and chitta but what we are trying to understand is chitta is mind in the same way patanjali uses a word nirodha for nirodha most of the people translate including the scholars like professor s radha krishnan as cessation of the functions of mind cessation means stopping if you stop what you can understand you cannot understand mind functions involuntarily it's not in our hands in such a situation cessation does not mean nirodha nirodha means synthesis it is explained very clearly by patanjali but it is not properly understood by most of the people as a result there are some misunderstandings about the concepts of yoga system of yoga approach to yoga analyzing yoga and adapting to the yogic way of life you see the parody here is most of the people want to live in an industrialized way of life technicalized way of life civilized way of life so called modern and contemporary way of life and yet they want to have yoga is it possible it's a question for me as a student of yoga also as a teacher of yoga yoga is not the science of body yoga is not the science of mind it is the science of soul and science of divinity and science of bliss when you want these three that is divinity soul and bliss then you have to go for yoga but most of the middle class people educated middle class people are adopting yoga in their lifestyle will it be compatible will it be possible these are all very important questions to a student of yoga because what the texts of yoga speak is totally different from the practice of yoga and even in the practice of yoga there are so many dimensions karma yoga is having one way of practice bhakti yoga is having one way of practice jnana yoga is having one way of practice kriya yoga is having one way of practice hatha yoga is having another way of practice so as a result there are multiples of practices in yoga the question comes what we have to adopt which system of yoga is more suitable to us it's a question for instance you go to a market there will be thousands of vegetables which will be sold or thousands of consumable articles which will be told we will be choosing according to our choice in the same way we have to choose a yoga system which is suitable to us how to determine the suitability there comes a major problem of application of yoga this application of yoga is very very important question nowadays why it has come into existence most of the western thinkers use it to identify that what all that is made by man must be having some some type of utility so that utilitarian concept has led to understand yoga as an applied subject that is number 1 and secondly some of the indian yogis have achieved some states like samadhi state which are beyond the comprehension of empirical science as a result the scientists wanted to understand that particular process they wanted to examine an ordinary man an yogi and an a patient or some other person and they want to come to a particular conclusion as a result yoga has been made as an objective subject actually yoga is a subjective science it's not objective science for instance i eat a food i will be having an experience it cannot be shared with the others and the other person even though he eats the same food he will be having different experience in the same way yoga is basically an experience 
ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఎ ప్రాసెస్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ అన్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ అన్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంటేషన్ బట్ ది ప్యారడీ హియర్ ఈజ్ ది వెస్ట్రన్ సైంటిస్ట్ వాంటెడ్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ అన్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ దే వాంట్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ ప్రాసెస్ దే వాంట్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ యాజ్ అన్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ అప్రోచ్ దేర్ ఇవాల్వ్డ్ వాట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ది అప్లైడ్ యోగా కాన్సెప్ట్ అండ్ థర్డ్లీ ది మేజర్ రీజన్ ఫర్ ది ఎమనేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది అప్లైడ్ యోగా కాన్సెప్ట్ ఈజ్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ ప్రాక్టీసింగ్ యోగా దే ఆర్ అపేరింగ్ వెరీ యంగ్ దే ఆర్ క్రాసింగ్ ది లిమిట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏజ్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ విత్ ఇన్ ది పర్బీ ఆఫ్ ది నేచర్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్వేస్ హెల్దీ దే ఆర్ వెరీ మచ్ పవర్ఫుల్ స్ట్రెంగ్ది అండ్ దేర్ మెమరీ ఈజ్ ఇన్ కంపారబుల్ ఇన్ సచ్ ఎ సిచ్యువేషన్ సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ విచ్ కెనాట్ బీ అండర్స్టడ్ విత్ ఇన్ ది రీచ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ సైన్స్ ఆర్ రిసీవ్డ్ బై యోగా అండ్ యాజ్ ఎ రిజల్ట్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది సైంటిస్ట్ వాంటెడ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ త్రూ అన్ ఎంపెరికల్ స్టడీ వాట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ హౌ యోగా కెన్ బీ అప్లైడ్ ఫర్ అచీవింగ్ ఆల్ సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్